Shalom, 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 shalom. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it's 8.40 a.m. And we're here to discuss... Excuse me, I'm recording a video. We're here to announce an event that happened into space. Dozens of Albertans took social media Wednesday evening to report seeing a large fireball sky over the northern parts of the province. Corbin Cradle was um, driving near the intersection of Highway 21 and West Park Boulevard in Fort Saskatchewan when he saw the bright light descending through the sky. The maintenance inspector with the Alberta Transportation captured a video of what appears to be a falling fireball on his vehicle's dash cam at approximately 5.21 p.m. Witnesses Rogan Henney of CBC News. He was driving north of Lacombe, Alta, um, around when he saw what he described as a meteor in the sky. Um, you guys really need to be watching out because we're having multiple events into space. Really? What? Okay. What happened in the state of Michigan, Livingston County? You remember that 2.0 of that earthquake that happened? Um, all right. If the United States Geological Service reading of the magnitude 2.0 earthquake in Michigan on Tuesday night wasn't enough to convince you that a meteor did in fact streak through the sky, let Mark Fries, a NASA scientist, say he managed to track the meteorites. Those are the pieces of rock that ended up on the ground after it enters in the atmosphere. Um, so we just had another meteor event last night in Alberta, the province of Alberta, USA. So guys, it's a lot of stuff going on. Events into the space. What? Okay, vehicle incident, Australia. Um, Malaysia Airlines flight traveling from Sydney to Kuala Lumpur has been forced to make an emergency landing at Alex Spring. An airline released a statement Thursday night saying that flight MH-122 was diverted for technical reason and that A330-300 aircraft safely landed in Alice Springs Airport at 5.48 p.m. Okay. Um, she said it was one of the worst frights of her life when she was very scared that she was crying when she called me. She called as soon as they landed in Alice Springs. I'm really scared hearing her voice, but I'm glad that they landed safely. So... Let's send out our prayers to those people there. Um, extreme weather in the United Kingdom. Gale force winds gusting up to 70 miles per hour, recorded in Britain, where thousands of homes in southeast England have been left without electricity. The wind has damaged some of the overhead power lines and the supply trains and brought trees crashing onto the tracks. Severe delays, thousands of commuters, and some service of London's King's Crossing station has been disrupted. We also have extreme weather in Germany. Germany railways have canceled all trains for the country's most popular states. The storm is expected to reach West Germany around noon time and then make its way to the east during the afternoon and early evening. There also is a snowstorm in Romania, a blizzard to be exact. Snowstorms and high wind left dozens of schools, several main roads and ports closed in parts of Romania. Thousands of people are without electricity. And Thursday, about 32,000 people had no power in 13 countries across Romania. Does it have to be across 13 counties, countries? There's a 13 again. Okay, extreme weather in the Netherlands. Excuse me, I'm recording the video. Amsterdam Schiphol Airport suspended all flights and Dutch National Rail Service halted at all trains as a powerful storm lashes the Netherlands. The airport said that the takeoff and landings were halted until further notice because of severe weather conditions. Up oh, here we go to the best part of the news. Explosion in Sweden. A huge TNT has rocked a police station in Swedish city of Malmo. Damaging officers' cars and buildings. The attack of the second king in less than a month deliberately targeted police, authorities said. So the attack of the second of its kind in less than a month deliberately targeted police, authorities said. The powerful blast that sent pressure gauges for several hundred meters around took place in the Rosengar area on Wednesday evening. 
No one was injured in the incident. However, several cars belonging to the police officers and the buildings facade were damaged. The police said that the attack wasn't a random incident and that it was directly targeted police and initial reports that the explosion was caused by a hand grenade. Later, pre preliminary investigation reportedly revealed that the substance was a TNT. All right, guys, for the last report, video, video, vehicle accident in the Bahamas. At least six people, including a child, were killed by Piper Aztec plane crash near Andros Island on Wednesday. While the details of the crash are still being awaited, the parliamentary representative for North Andros and the Berry Islands, that they got a call around 8 a.m., and they got a call around 11 a.m. indicating that the plane left Andros around 8, headed for Nassau, Bahamas. So, God bless the dead and let the dead bury themselves.